What is up my YouTube friends? This is Nathan and you're watching one of my masters. So, we're going to have some fun with the Lambot A1. This is my newest robot vacuum. It has a cool feature. You can literally draw out a pattern and the robot should follow it. And by request of one of my viewers, they would like to see Ben. So, oh hey my YouTube fan, my name is Ben, B-E-N. I'm such a cool dino, I know everything about robot vacuums. Just want to say hi to everyone. Hello. Thank you Ben. And we got a new character. His name is Labbit. Hey, check it out ladies. Like my cool stash? Anyone available? What's up? And, okay. So, let's go ahead and check out how well this draw feature is. And by this request, this person wants to see an obstacle course. So, so once you have the Lambot A1 app open, there's a tab that allows you to go into the draw feature. And it gives you an overlay of your entire map. You can also take a picture of your layout. And it can help you guide yourself around when you're drawing out your pattern. It's real easy, just basically like any like electronic sketch pad, just kind of draw out lines and follow around. Keep in mind that my fat fingers kind of cover up the entire screen. It's a little bit more accurate if you use a stylus. So next time I probably will do that. I will show in a video of a more accurate test where I did use a stylus and the robot was able to navigate the upside down tea bottles without knocking them over. But this is just a fun example with teddy bears that the robot can navigate around them and pick up some skittles along the way. So here's the obstacle course I made. It's gonna go around a bunch of little teddy bears and pick up some skittles along the way. One thing to know is you do have to create a new pattern each time you wanna do this. It does not save the pattern. So the Lamba A1 has no problem picking up medium to large chunks, unlike the Roomba S9, which struggles on the Skittles. So let's make a quick pass this around Angry Bird. This is one of my favorite characters from Rovio. Back a couple years ago, I used to play Angry Bird all the time on my smartphone. And also, I think they made a movie, which was a pretty cool movie to watch. So you notice how much space the robot left? Well, that's because of my error. I actually drew the lines too far away from the object. So if you are going to use this feature, use the stylus, you can, you can get a more accurate pattern. Okay, we got Mr. Crab, lobster, crustacean, something yummy. I don't know, but I do love seafood, so let's just go ahead and just go around this guy a few times. Okay, so here's when it went downhill. I put a carrot in the middle of the hallway, and the Roomba S9 would have no problems just gently pushing and moving the carrot along. Well, I thought the Lambot A1 would do the same thing, but this robot's pretty gentle, so it decided to kind of try to maneuver itself around, but it doesn't try too hard to actually push the object. So with the hands of God, I actually kind of moved the carrot around so the robot could pass. So I had an obstacle course off to the right there, but the robot decided to ignore this area and just go to the bottom left corner of the screen. Um, I think it was due to that carrot kind of messed up the algorithm a little bit. But for the most part, it's pretty precise. It's able to maneuver these objects if you tell it to go around these objects. I would say it works pretty well. So let's go ahead and uh, just continue on. We'll just ignore that section over there and go into my doorway. So here's the successful obstacle course I used a stylus this time and the robot was able to successfully navigate around these upside down tea bottles and water bottles without knocking them over. Okay back to the obstacle course it's going to the last part which is going to navigate around my 
seal. Uh, it is still battle damage from my last previous test, so you notice the bandages. But eventually, I will get the seal to a hospital and take care of it. But I just haven't had time. Been doing a lot of filming and awesome videos, so the seal's just gonna have to wait. So, a lot of people have been asking me, is the Lambot A1 worth it? Well, I've only had this guy for about a week, and I would say it's okay. It's not as good as like a 360 S6. Um, the build quality is kind of cheap. In my mind, it kind of feels like a $100 robot vacuum. So, what do you guys think? Did you like this little optical course? Um, it was all about just seeing how many Skittles the robot can pick up. Has no problem picking up the Skittles. And if you like these types of videos, of course, smash the like button. Helps me gauge if this video is popular or not. Because I do look at my analytics and I see, okay, uh, you guys like this, you guys don't like this. Um, you definitely didn't like that one. So I will try to avoid doing that style of video. But for the most part, I do enjoy doing these videos for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy watching them. You guys have been a great audience. And I love you guys. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. This was just a quick look at the... Lambot A1 drawing feature and for the most part I thought it was a novelty item but you could make this useful you could actually draw out a random pattern in your open area and the robot should follow it. Okay so the robot's just gonna go ahead and recharge and we'll take a quick look at how many skittles the robot picked up. Okay, just from looking at it, I counted out 68 Skittles, not too bad. Keep in mind that the robot missed one of my optical core sections, so it didn't get to that area. But for the most part, I think it did okay. Just a fun little video for you guys, so have a great day.